Hello everyone, this is G-Shock High Fashion Channel. Today, I'm gonna open up a Bluetooth G-Shock watch from the GBA400 series watch. First of all, we're gonna to remove the watch band on this piece since it is very much on the way. And you guys should know that the watch I'm holding right now is in a used condition. So I actually filmed this video first and then I clean it up and then I assemble the watch back and then I'll film the unboxing review video. So keep that in mind. The watch band on here was locked with the standard spring bar as any other G-Shock that is out there. So this part is pretty much basic. You guys seen this a lot on this channel, so nothing much uh, surprising at all over here, except this part over here. The buckle comes in plastic and the lock with this rivet light type structure, so it's gonna be very, very hard to remove this to be honest. So I don't want to do so. And I also afraid that I might broke this since you guys can see it's already like starting to crack already. So I don't want to take any more risk. I don't have any uh, spare buckle laying around as well, so I'm gonna leave it there. I could claim this watch band and bezel already the way it is so I'm good on that. If you want to remove the bezel on this GBA400 series you need to remove the crown out first because the crown is like locking the bezel as well. So we have four screws, um, uh, two screw on both sides of course, standard height. Done removing uh, all the four screw over here and before we could remove the bezel we need to remove the crown and in order to remove the crown we need to remove the back plate first because there is a locking mechanism that is holding the crown into place so we need to open it up remove the lock pull this crown outwards and then we could remove the bezel so I also will recommend you guys to leave a mark like this. Pull a straight line over here from the back plate to this gold ring and to this uh, crown as well to make sure it is aligned whenever you want to assemble a bag. At least you have an indicator to point. So that's that. Although they already have indicator down there, but you can't see that. So this is a, another way to make it easier for you to assemble back. Okay, now remove this stainless steel back plate over here. We could see that they don't have any writings at all on the beeper over there, which is very weird. So an O-ring came out already. It comes this standard round shape. So I, I guess you guys could find this anywhere up there. This is the cushion, the back cushion on this piece. Only plastic, none of those rubber gray light thing over here, which is unfortunate. But it does have all this cushioning point on there already. So we got that covered. And by the way guys, this white part over here is the uh, hook, the lock for this crown. So that's why it comes this hard plastic instead of those rubber plastic because you need something strong. To lock the crown to make sure it won't comes up so just pull this thing out like that look at that this is the hook that i talked about just now so let me zoom in there a little bit so you can see it better look at that so that's that and now the crown could already be removed you guys could see they have this the crown shaft going all the way in there deep in there all the way into these electronics or computers so just pull this out using your fingers, it's gonna be very easy already. And there it is, the crown is coming out. Look at how detailed, it's almost like a needle. So make sure this part is taken care of very nicely. You don't want to bend this or damage anything over here because this is like the most important part of the watch. If you damage anything over here, the watch over here is pretty much useless, right? So I'm gonna need to clean this thing up as well. So I'm advising myself to be very careful actually. So put this thing in the back over there. And we have this gold ring, in my case right now it's in gold because it's this gold and black colorway. Yours might come in different colorway. So you need to remove this thing as well. This part over here acts like the uh, the O-ring for this crown over here since it is movable, water could sips in there. So you need some sort of ring to protect uh, this part of the watch or to prevent waters to enter over here. So that's that. And this gold ring over here just to hold this black part, this O-ring for this crown. So you could just pull this Price thing out using your nail, and that's that. This o ring will fall down as well. Make 
sure you remember how you disassemble this watch to make it easier for you to assemble it back after this because pretty much complicated parts that's going on over here the rest are just, are just basic you could just pry this engine out right away as any other g-shock out there just pricing out like that and there is already coming out so very very easy so we're gonna look at the engine afterwards i already removed the screw i already removed the module out of the way now we could remove the bezel on this piece right so we're gonna start up with this part over here this three button part over the buttons and then pull this thing out over here so starting out by force as always put your nails below the uh the bezel there the bezel is pretty thin by the way what makes this watch big is the hard case itself and what makes the hard case big is the module itself it looks very big very big actually since it features a lot of function you guys should know that this is a bluetooth equipped model so you're gonna need a lot of space to jam in all those electronics in there you know so posting over here and it's already coming out already so this is the bezel for a gba 400 series you have a similar build as GA400 series as well, similar type of locking mechanism, although the module, the engine will be different, so that's that. And this bezel over here comes in two parts, if I'm not mistaken, I already removed it, right? And here it is, another part. So this is what makes the watch, uh, the bezel look for regular actually. If you remove this, it won't look as good anyway, look at that. But if you want to custom paint this, you could your custom paint this, or this, or the hard case. So it's all up to you guys, you have three parts as far as the bezel. see the gold index in there and of course a very very dirty hard case a lot of dirt going on here and there so i really really need to clean this thing up to make sure the button operation uh, will be nice you could see now we have one two three four five button already still looking fine no dirt seeps in there at all even though the exterior looks very very dirty but if you look inside totally clean so very efficiently uh watertight seal does or mud or the structure over here even though they didn't stay at all this thing more but basic basically g shot already much resistance now most interesting part about this watch is the module we're gonna have a look at castle japan sign engine over there so that is very interesting some numbers going on over there and since this guy is a mod a uh, bluetooth equipment model so you're gonna need all the serial code here and there I'll just look at the back little we have more informations unlike the basic models that is out there you know and you can see we have two batteries as well so this is how this bluetooth watch could last longer compared to other smart watch that is out there that could last about just a few months but for this way longer so that's very nice the key is having two batteries very simple this is with the spring over there for the beeping tone and we could see two coil motors over here pretty big taking a lot of space in there these two coil motors over here is what makes uh, the hours and the minutes hand move it call it gonna control this two hands over here and also the sub dial that comes in gold colorway as well which is very very gorgeous just look at that look at the casing over here looks very very dirty very i mean very ugly like what is this but when you look at the module inside there look at how gorgeous it looks i really love looking at this gold 24 karat gold sub dial over here this is i believe the uh, bluetooth on rock indicator you could press this button on this side over here to operate it look at this rotating right now very very cool That's the hours and the minutes hand over there. You could move it, touch it. Look at that, so cool. I need to perform the hand adjust after this because I'm messing this thing up already. Look at those digital display, two of them, and this part is very, very big, taking up too much space, which is pointless. They should make this part smaller or to be able to add more space for display. You know? Press mode now, we have the world time, 100 cities in here. We have alarm, a stopwatch, and a countdown timer. This is the watch set up. This button on this lower uh, right over here. Press it, and you can see that it's connected to an iPhone. So that's that. Press mode now. We'll go back to home time. We have dated and time over there, and I want to show you guys the LED light this model have as well, which is down here at six o'clock index over there. Look at that. 
square white thingy so that's the LED light for this watch which gonna glows in white colorway that is very very bright as well look at that look at how bright it is almost like a flashlight look at that but when you add this into the hard case this glass over here like filters some of the uh, intensity so it's gonna end up something that's not as bright actually but oh, you could only see the hours and the minutes and you cannot see the digital display at all but this is an old model by the way new release model usually come with a glow a digital display so don't complain on that guys just accept it the way it is the the function is already awesome enough actually and what i like to share even more is that this two thing over here look at how gorgeous it looks Anyway, and it's going to sting up first and I might end up with something beautiful as well after this so that's that and the LED light again very very bright without any auto light features by the way so keep that in mind this Bluetooth model don't have auto light features in them although you have a very bright LED light like that so that's nice so as far as the sides uh, design on this space they aren't symmetrical because of course look at that they have three buttons on one side two buttons on another side and also the crown which uh could be inserted in this hole over here a very very tiny hole almost like a needle hole there so that is uh, the crown hole and i believe that is all that you guys should know about this gba 4 series g-shock watch i'm gonna need to clean this thing up and then assemble it back into place and then this concludes this video i hope you guys found this video useful informative and entertaining as well for your future reference leave a like if it does and also subscribe to see more contents like this coming up in the future Thank you very, very much for watching, guys. I really, really appreciate your support. This is G-Shock High Fashion Channel. And um. Uh...